A brief guide to the history of Wirral Railways. This presentation is brought to you by Blighty PC for on-site business and home IT support solutions. The Wirral Railway was incorporated in 1863 as a Hoylet Railway, becoming the Wirral Railway in 1882. It ran from a terminus at Birkenhead Park to West Kirby, New Brighton and Seacombe. In the 1923 grouping, it became part of the London, Midland and Scottish Railway. It electrified its route in 1938, allowing services to be run through the Mersey Railway Tunnel to Liverpool. The railway was nationalised, along with most other British rail services in 1948. The railway is still in use today as part of the Wirral Line of the Mersey Rail Commuter Rail Network. The normal pattern of trains in steam railway days was from West Kirby to Birkenhead Park or to Seacombe, from which both direct connections were available to Liverpool by the Mersey Railway electric trains from Birkenhead Park and by Wallasey Corporation ferryboat from Seacombe. Trains from New Brighton branch also ran to Birkenhead Park. In addition, the Great Central Railway trains en route from Wrexham to Bidston continued over the Wirral Railway route to Seacombe, as there were no effective terminal arrangements for their trains at Bidston, and also to provide direct connections by a ferryboat to Liverpool. Steam locomotives continued operation to West Kirby until 1965 on a once daily freight train which serves the coal depots at Morton, Hoylake and West Kirby, the Cadbury's chocolate factory at Morton and the gas works at Hoylake. A single track loop was built between 1972 and 1977 and since 77 trains from James Street have travelled round the loop calling at Moorfields, Liverpool Lime Street and a new platform at Liverpool Central before returning to James Street. The original two platforms at Liverpool were reused as part of the Northern Line. The tunnel and railway are still in use today as part of the Wirral Line. The programme of route closures in the early 1960s, known as the Beechings Act, included the closure of two of Liverpool's mainline terminus stations, Liverpool Exchange and Liverpool Central High Level, and also Birkenhead Woodside Terminal Station. The Merseyside Passenger Transport Authority, later named Mersey Travel, was formed in 1969 with representatives from all Merseyside local authorities taking responsibility for the local rail network, henceforth known as Mersey Rail. At that time, the lines out of Liverpool Exchange, Liverpool Central Low Level and Liverpool Lime Street were completely separate and were given the names Northern Line, Wirral Line and City Line respectively. The new Wirral Line was to have a loop tunnel underneath Liverpool City Centre which would be an extension of the Mersey Railway Tunnel. This arrangement meant that trains would only terminate on the Wirral. Trains would leave a Wirral terminus, run into Liverpool, round the loop and back to its original terminus. Four underground stations would be on this loop underneath the city centre. A further underground link tunnel connection between the new Moorfields and Liverpool Central, creating a new Liverpool North-South Crossrail. Moorfields would replace Liverpool Exchange Terminus Station. In addition to the construction of the loop, a burying junction was constructed at Hamilton Square, taking the line towards Birkenhead Park beneath the Rock Ferry Lines. This would allow peak time frequencies to be increased by removing and interfering train paths at a flat railway crossing. A new platform was built at Hamilton Square for this diversion and the new tunnel was 620 metres in length. In the early 1980s, plans were made to extend the Wirral Line from Rock Ferry to Hooton along the former Birkenhead Joint Railway route. Third rail electrification work was carried out during 1985 and Hooton to Liverpool services started in September of that year with a 15 minute frequency. Bromborough Rake Station also opened. Further electrification work on the Chester and Ellesmere port was planned to start in 1990. Electric services through to Liverpool 
from Chester commenced in 1993 and from Ellesmere Port in 1994. In 2003, Mersey Travel took over responsibility for the Mersey Rail franchise. In conjunction with this, in July 2003, the franchise was awarded to Serco Ned Railways on a 50-50 joint business venture. The Mersey Rail brand has a 25-year contract ending in July 2028 and a review taking place every five years. After being in operation since 1977, in March 2016 it was announced that the Wirral Loop Line would have its track renewed, with the work taking place between January and June 2017.